Bunny, and I'm here to talk about the new Watch OS 8 Panda and also Panda who threw me a photo with a pinnacle or mem emotion to be able to operate the Apple Watch hearing and order without you, without the use of their own two hands, two hands. Well, I'm sorry to inform you, I, I have found that that is not true. For those of you who don't know, Apple recently released in late September the new Watch OS 8 hearing update, and that, and that, and then in that update, they were we made a new technology that would allow you to do the movement with your hand. It would allow you to pick and double, uh, double open and hold your hand, and you pretend to move it. You can see that, and you pretend to move it in your arm to. Notify your Apple Watch that you wanted to open a certain app on your phone or navigate a certain, certain menu so that you wouldn't have to use both your hands to operate the Apple Watch when moving or doing anything because they thought that was, they thought that was going to be easier for the disability community. Then you need both hands to operate the Apple Watch. However, I like I said, I have had the final provider, and with that, with that, I have one weak hand and one really strong hand, and I only wear my Apple Watch on my, on my dominant hand, so I was really excited to be able to operate, um, operate my Watch without using my right hand. However, upon researching and trying out this piece for myself, doing this movement up and down, holding my hand and picking my two, uh, my index finger and my palm to navigate my Apple Watch was really, really hard. Harder than the, uh, operating my Apple Watch normally. And honestly, I'm very disappointed in the people because I hear my what they intended it to do was to um was to be able to uh, notify your Apple Watch when your attendant um uh, when your attendant was moving and it couldn't even do that for me. Let alone my mom also tried doing the move and my mom is um is not disabled at all and he was doing it really hard too with uh, with the wall band as tight as he did it. And I also had it very tight. And it still wouldn't work. So I hope this video will help her in the next tip. You will see me uh, demonstrating how the technology in what OS is supposed to work and how it actually works. But if you are looking to buy an Apple Watch purely because it is supposed to be more accessible to know with um know with our um, members and disability, I definitely have to say I do not recommend it. For that, that reason, however, I do recommend an Apple Watch for anybody who wants to be able to view their 
notification on the bell, um, or press the workout or set timer and reminder and productivity reading. Accessibility reading may assist this talk. I do not recommend commitment right into the video and I will go ahead and show you the two videos that I took of me demonstrating the new wall of a assistant talk he at the wall uh, navigation and operation at a disabled individual and I will also tell you via a voiceover why I didn't like that. So I hope this video is helpful. If it is, make sure you make it some time for all types of fun videos for you my. And welcome to all my new subscribers. And uh, comment down below what you are experiencing with Apple <laughs> technology. I would love to know if there is something I'm doing wrong. Okay, bye. Enjoy this video. Alright, so my mom is going to, my mom is not disabled. So my mom is going to show you how my hand is on the app or more or supposed to work. So you want to show them? Like this? Yeah. Uh, fist. double hip. Fist, fist. Yeah. Maybe I need to have Turn a timer. Turn it on and then. Okay. Ready? Yeah. One, two. Yeah. Three, they're barely working and then do the pinch. Oh, pinch. Yeah. He is super hard for how many who is even everybody submit the menu to ask me what. As you can see, all it does is the menu pop up. So do a pinch, pinch. Pinch, pinch. Yeah, and then, and then the double pinch, pinch. Yeah, see, it does it. It's really hard to not nail it well, but it's really hard to initiate when you Hey, Mom. Well, you've got to really. Yeah, you really have. Into it lightly. You really have to try to um to do it. But yeah, that how how many who can point. This how how many masters on a computer who is currently disabled. Um, and this is how many of them who want And this is how many with this is my mud hand. Uh, my mud hand, I just see my dick. My is going to turn and not. So my thing is, I can operate my at more. So I'm doing double hitting. Mm -hmm. Nothing happening, even when it's on. It's my there's the menu, and then I want to have that happen, and it won't do it. Yeah, it's not uh, tight enough. It's not yeah, it's here, the is almost on the math one. So, you, so I, to me, I don't consider this acceptable, because if I can't do it with a math hand, then... No one can that. Can't do it if it claps. That's not one. No, my apple could have done a clap. Me seen it done it. They only pick um clapping because they turn it to the same. Mm-hmm. Oh, got it. The the purpose of the apple thing is to recognize your tendon moving right here, mm -hmm. and apparently the really pissy. So, so I don't consider this, um, I don't consider this an accessible option like iOS accessibility. I, 
really think they need to work on this more because I cannot, I cannot easily hear the operator. And that's even for a new